Hey everybody, welcome to Table Hops, the channel where we pair board games with beer. Today we're playing Grim Forest by Druid City Games. And pairing it with the Milk and Cookies Imperial Stout by Wicked Weed Brewing from Asheville, North Carolina. Let's, Let's get, get table hopped! Milk and Cookies Stout transports us to our childhood kitchens, where freshly baked cinnamon raisin cookies warmed us against winter winds, and familiar grandparent voices permeated the sounds of the night. Hints of cold milk, sweet vanilla, and hearty oatmeal comfort and remind us that our memories are forever led by our senses. In this case, we are led home. This no. Imperial Milk Stout is 8.5% alcohol by volume. Cheers! Mmm. So we just had the Milk and Cookies Imperial Milk Stout by Wicked Weed Brewing. What do you think of it, Stephen? It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's, it's well, very the very sweet. first thing that hit me too. Um, I don't really get. I get the oatmeal, mm -hmm. and I catch a, a little hint of the raisin. Okay. Um, I don't taste the vanilla so much. Right. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. I also don't taste the cinnamon. Yes. I don't think cinnamon's written on here. It's on the front. Oh, you're right. Golden raisin, cinnamon, and vanilla. Yeah, I didn't taste the cinnamon either. But there is a lot going on. I think that the sweetness kind of overtakes that yeah. cinnamon bit. It's very good. It does remind me of those like oatmeal cookies with the, like, the cream inside of them a little bit. Yeah. Um, and it's very tasty. I, um, I think it's great for this time of year. Cheers! Mmm. So we just had the Milk and Cookies Imperial Milk Stout by Wicked Weed Brewing. What do you think of it, Stephen? It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's, it's well, very the very sweet. first thing that hit me, too. Um, I don't really get... I get the oatmeal, mm -hmm. and I catch a, a little hint of the raisin. Okay. Um, I don't taste the vanilla so much. Right. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. I also don't taste the cinnamon. Yes. I don't think cinnamon's written on here. It's on the front. Oh, you're right. Golden raisin, cinnamon, and vanilla. Yeah, I didn't taste the cinnamon either, but there is a lot going on. I think that the sweetness kind of overtakes that yeah. cinnamon bit. It's very good. It does remind me of those like oatmeal cookies with the, like, the cream inside of them a little bit. Yeah. Um, and it's very tasty. I, um, I think it's great for this time of year. What would you give it on Untapped, Chris? On Untapped, I think I would give this a 3.75. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's a nice winter spice beers. Spice beers to me are kind of hit and miss. Um and it's it the sweetness like you said, it's it's a little bit too sweet for me. Yeah, I just don't catch any of the spice, honestly. Like I think the spice would like yeah. help. It's help too much nice, enough. not enough spice. Yeah. Um I'd give it a probably a 3. Okay. Um again, it's just it's just too Sweet. Yeah, it's too sweet. Yeah, you know I mean? there is a bourbon barrel aged version of it, which I also have, which might cut down on some of that sweetness. I'll have to give it a try. Yeah. It's hard though. I'm getting quite sleepy drinking this actually. Yeah. Yeah. You ever like had a lot of milk cookies and you just want to take a nap? No, but I'm also not in pajamas. That's right. We got these for, for Christmas. Yeah. Obviously, they're very comfy. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, are you, you know what? Are you the ho ho ho? I am the ho ho ho. You should see my candy cane moves. But, uh, I'm actually, uh, do you mind doing the rest of the episode by yourself? Why? I'm, I'm just a little nappy. I'm not, I want my pillow. You're just lazy. Yeah, you know, I did, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put my head down. Can you, can you read me a, a bedtime story? Read you what? I don't know, some sort of story. What? About pigs? Yeah. Tell me a story about the three little pigs. I have the rule book. That'll work. This'll work? That'll work. Just read it softly. Okay. Grim Force is a game for two to four players. It may seem simple at first, but it has many layers. As a relative of the three little pigs, you build houses that are strong and big. You start by gathering bricks, lumber, or straw. Share the space with a pig, and you'll call it a draw. Fable cards can increase your plunder, or they can steal your opponent's thunder. Not everything is so nice and easy, 
the big bad wolf might make things breezy. Other villains may slow your roll, like the giant, the dragon, or the dreaded bridge troll. Build your houses with straw, brick, or lumber. Starting too many would be a plunder. Finish your house first from beginning to end. You get fable cards, resources, or maybe a friend. Your friends are fairy tale ladies and men, like Pinocchio, Rapunzel, and Rumpelstiltskin. These friends will give you new powerful actions. You can choose to replace them with one of another faction. Three complete houses will win you the game. Replayability is good, no two games are the same. When it's time to stop playing Cleanup's a Breeze, the game trays store your components with ease. We just played Grim Forest by Druid City Games. Um, super fun, very lightweight um, resource management game. I'm a big fan of, you know, all the miniatures are great. Uh, the game trays in it are fantastic, too. They all look like little houses with three little layers on it. Um, I gave this game a 7.5 out of 10 on Board Game Geek. Um, I think it's great for... Don't ride uh, the flamingos. What the hell? Chris! <laughs> <laughs> oh what do you think of this, Chris? <laughs> I think it's very fun. I think it's great. I love the, the quality of the components. I think the miniatures look fantastic. I like how everything fits together in a nice little little case. Yeah, and you know, the uh, the whole the whole thing where you can screw somebody over by going to their spot, mm -hmm. you know, and then playing the fable cards is huge. Absolutely. Right, because you might get some monsters in there. Um, I like all the friends, like little yeah, cameos like, from Peter Pan from, and stuff. From all the Hansel and Gretel. All over the place. Uh, Goldilocks, mm -hmm. the Little Mermaid. Ooh. They're all great. They're fantastic. What would you give this on Board Game Geek? Um, I think I still need to play it a couple more times. Yeah. But uh, if I was just going to go based on... Gut feeling. I eight. Eight? Eight. Wow. I like it a lot, actually. Um but like I said, I've only played it a couple times. Yeah. And it could be that it's the presentation of it that's that's swaying me a little bit, because I think the presentation's fantastic. Yeah, the presentation and the theme are normally your your That's thing, it. So. And this is doing all the things. Yep. How about you? Oh, I was I asleep for that? Yep. Oh. You were asleep. I gave it a seven and a half. Okay. Um, pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. I think the only thing that, that shies me away from this game is uh the two player game I don't like so much. Okay. Um, yeah, some games just don't translate yeah. to two players. Three and four, it's great, though. Okay. Three and four, it's yep. great. Yep. Thanks, as always, for watching. Links to our untapped and board game geek profiles are below. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out our bi weekly podcast. And remember good games, good beers, great times! times.